again to America's Elite Businesses Up Close and Personal, another unique podcast. We come to the end, but it's just the beginning. Again, we're at Outrageous. We have a wonderful art show again today. I think it's the finale, but Tina, the owner who was sitting with me, said there's lots more coming up for Outrageous as we continue into 2020. Tina, how are you? I'm good. Uh, very quickly here, we got about 10 minutes and we're going to have parents coming in. Mm -hmm. They're going to be observing the work of the kids. Yes. Now this is the last one, which I is, know. you know, I know they're, they're all sad. It's kind of bittersweet. Mm -hmm. um, but let's talk real quick about what has happened. Okay. And then we'll, as we continue our interview, we'll talk about uh, the aspirations of what you guys are doing after this. But what did we just do here for the last couple of weeks? Well, it's been eight weeks. We had camp, which is the first time we've ever done anything like that. Wow. We, we did um, eight kids in the morning, eight kids in the afternoon. So usually we have like 20, 20 kids at one camp. Right. So we decided with social distancing that we were going to cut that down and do two a days. And so this is the very last one. And as you can see, it's a, it was a very full camp. And so today is the art show, which means that the kids are going to come in with the parents and they're going to explain what it is that they did all okay. week with us. And we're going to package everything up and they're going to take it home. And that's neat. We, we did a, a couple of these, uh, which we have on podcasts as well, too. And I've never seen it done like that, which is just wonderful. The parents don't get to receive it at home. They get to come in where the work was done. I think these art shows, at least from our, our filming um, we've seen a lot. I think it's a fantastic project, but you said it's the eighth week. We're done with the kids. Mm -hmm. um, what does Art Rage just have uh, in the next couple of weeks or the next couple of months? Well, besides cleaning. Um, <laughs> besides cleaning. <laughs> and organizing. Okay. We um, have classes. We're starting off our classes slowly yes, um, as people are interested in coming out. Um, so we're going to be doing a little bit of everything. I've got some fused glass um, classes coming up. We've Great. got clay. Uh, classes coming up and um, people can just sign up online and it's it it's, we're still going to social distance it's going to be only small classes six right. to eight people and um, hopefully we're going to get back into a groove and then slowly we can you know as CDC recommends right um, we, we follow their recommendations as we do that hopefully we can get more and more people coming in well um, we're, we're, we're living now with a with a lot of newness uh, but, but good quality businesses know how to adapt. Uh, unfortunately, the, the COVID is here for a while. We're gonna learn to, to deal with it here. Um, but let's make one more quick thing for the kids. Any more kid camps coming? I mean, to, to always, me, that's just incredible. Yeah, we always have kid camps. Uh, whenever the kids have a Monday off during the school year, we have a camp. Um, we always have a Christmas, uh, over the Christmas holiday, okay. and then over the spring break. So yes. And we try to do a few things during the week. It all depends on the, how busy the kids are. It just depends on, um, you know, if we get interest in that kind of thing. We're right. more than willing to do whatever anybody wants us to do. Well, we are at Art Rages. I am with Tina. She is one of the owners here. Chip is um, lifting heavy boxes today. Uh, but we're at the very, very end uh, of the kids' camp. The parents will be coming here momentarily with their kids to see exactly uh, the artistic talents of these young kids here. So you guys stay tuned.